Well, the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak faces another set of questions related to wife Akshita Murthy's shares in her father's company. Opposition Labour Party claims if UK and India are signing a trade deal, Narayan Murthy's own emphasis stands in line to benefit from such a deal. And according to a report by The Observer, Bengaluru-based emphasis wants to improve access to the UK for its thousands of contract workers through changes in the visa regime. India and the UK have been negotiating a free trade deal for quite a while now. Uh, right now, it is in the 12th round of negotiations. This also comes at a time when Sunak is preparing to visit India for the first time as UK's Prime Minister. Sunak will visit India next month for the G20 Leaders Summit. Labour Party's Darren Jones says Sunak should declare any business interests as opposition leaders and trade experts in the UK are expecting him to do so in respect to the India trade deal. This comes after Sunak apologised to the UK parliamentary watchdog after a probe found out that Sunak failed to declare his wife Akshita Murthy's relevant business interests. The probe revolved around the government's financial incentive scheme for people joining the child mining workforce. The panel found that Sunak failed to declare that his wife held shares in one of the six child mining uh, minding agencies uh, selected by the government. Sunak, uh, Sunak acknowledged the findings and apologized for the breach of the rules in a letter Sunak apologized for the inadvertent errors as well about that. And for the very latest on this, our uh, correspondent Alex Izad is joining us from uh, London. And uh, Alex, well, tell us a little bit more about the opposition's claims as far as uh, business interests are concerned of Sunak's wife. Well, um, as you know, that uh, the, uh, it, it, nothing has been with regards to emphasis and uh, what the visas would hold if he did give them uh, to that specific company. But uh, the opposition are really playing on this family uh, issue rather than the bigger picture as well, which comes down to trying to get more people within the UK to fill the gaps that were left behind from Brexit. There's a, there has been a, a huge um, need for people to come to the country to, to do those jobs that people in the UK aren't filling. So that's that is something that this trade deal and Kemi Badenoch has been going over to India. To, it has been to discuss how to move forward and how to ensure that uh, those spaces can be filled. Talking about exporting as well, trying to get taxes for those uh, exports and imports that are coming back and forth from India to the UK. Those are the conversations that are continuing to happen. And those are very important conversations for both countries. And it shouldn't really be uh, stalled on the fact that uh, one of the companies that is mentioned is a uh, the, the wife of the current Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, and she has a, a bit of a holding. Because when it comes down to IT and technology, of course, India does have a lot more than just emphasis, uh, really with reliance on generating AI and going forward with uh, making these huge waves of technology. It's really important for the UK and India to have this relationship. And of course, there are going to be questions about how it could benefit uh, family members. But there are bigger questions about what will happen up to the general election, of course, if right. conservatives remain, but if Labour take on, will they also be pushing right. forward? Right. Right, Alex, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there.